Welcome to our daily devotional series, Introducing God. We've been looking at the life of people like Abraham, Isaac, and now Jacob, and his brother Esau. And now that Jacob has returned and they have somewhat settled their differences, we're going to learn more about Jacob's family, and we're going to see some about Esau's family over the next uh, couple of days. So let's go to our text, uh, Genesis chapter 36, excuse me, Genesis chapter 35, Genesis chapter 35, verse 22. Genesis 35, 22. Now it happened while Israel, Jacob, was dwelling in that land that Reuben went away and lay with Bilhah, his father's concubine, and Israel heard of it, and there were twelve sons of Jacob. The sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, then Simeon and Levi and Judah and Issachar and Zebulon, the sons of Rachel, Joseph and Benjamin, the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's servant woman, Dan and Naphtali, and the sons of Zilpah, Leah's servant woman, Gad and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob who were born to him and paid in Paden Aram. And Jacob came to his father Isaac at Mamre of Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac had sojourned. Now the days of Isaac were 180 years. And Isaac breathed his last and died and was gathered to his people. An old man full of days and his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. This closes out the story of Isaac, and it gives us the children of, of Jacob, the children of Israel. And as they are listed there, are Reuben and Simeon, Levi, Judah, Isgar, Zebulun, Joseph, Benjamin, uh, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher, you'll notice that that is mostly the 12 tribes of Israel. What you find is that Joseph's lot, when we get to Judges, or excuse me, Joshua, is divided between his children. That Joseph himself doesn't have a, a tribe, but his two children do. And, and then you'll have the 12 tribes the way it works. But this is the beginning of that family, which will become the nation of Israel. The nation through whom the Messiah would come. And that is the picture we have here. As we are meeting God, what we are doing here is meeting God's plan. In the very beginning, man has fallen. Adam and Eve have sinned. God has provided a way. He says, I'm going to send my Messiah, the seed of woman, who will deal a crushing blow to Satan. And we see that as prophetic about the Christ, the Messiah. And the way God does that, as you read through the Bible, is he built a family through Abraham, through whom the whole world will be blessed. And he's made that promise to Abraham, he's made it to Isaac, and he's made it to Jacob. Abraham has died, Isaac has died. Jacob is now the patriarch for the family. And so the events that we'll read, pretty much from this point on, will refer back to Jacob or Israel, as we learn more about this people, and as we learn more about God. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the blessings you give us. Father, we thank you that you have provided for us a way to come back to you when we have walked away. Fathers, we see the development of your family, of Israel, those who would become a nation to bring about Messiah. Father, we thank you that you did that, that you provided for them, that you took care of them, you guided them, and that Messiah came. And Father, my prayer is that all of us will look to Christ, the Messiah, and follow him and come to you through him. And this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to join you as we spend time in God's word. I do look forward to these messages, and I hope you do as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.